Those looking for a hotel in the metro might experience some sticker shock if they plan a trip first weekend of April. You might have heard why. Just a few minutes of total solar eclipse. Neil Zerang joining us now live in downtown Little Rock with more on this. Neil, the capital city is not the only place people can expect to pay triple of what hotels are asking for. I just need about three weeks, so you better start saving up. Yeah, thankfully, we may not have to worry about this, but all those people we see in the state will. If you take a quick search online, you can see just how much the price, price differs where you live. And this eclipse capitalism comes in many forms, not just this price changing. Some hotels won't even let you get a room unless you reserve it for multiple nights. The places to rest your head are wrestling for Eclipse tourists. The biggest question we're getting right now is, are your hotels sold out? Cities and towns across Arkansas are saying they have room for guests, but depending on where you look, the night before the Eclipse is either sold out or sold expensively. $509 per night. Calling or looking online, people can find some places charging three, six, or even ten times what they have listed for the same room a week earlier. Like this Oyo townhouse in Jacksonville charging $593 for a room that you can get for $52 this weekend. It's like Super Bowl prices. <laughs> <laughs> Jacksonville's mayor is a small business owner himself and says there's a fine line to walk when capitalizing on a situation like this. You've got to weigh out, you know, both sides of it and you know what is realistic, you know, what can your conscience live with, and, you know, and what's too much. Mayor Elmore also said in some situations of prices that he's seen would be considered price gouging, but because this isn't an emergency and people are freely choosing to come here to watch the eclipse, well, it doesn't qualify as so. Reporting live in Little Rock, Niels Rang, back to you in studio.